Thank you. Well, I got it finished. What do you think? <laughs> I didn't think I'd get it finished for the new year. <laughs> the beauty about this outfit is I can go to any football match in the country and it doesn't matter who wins. <laughs> Bar. Bar. I went to a bar. So I'll have a gin and tonic. Gin and tonic, please. The fella said, uh, do you want ice with it? I said, yes. Well, now, is it the real ice or is it that frozen stuff? <laughs> well, ma. Top of the world, ma. I love all them old pictures of me, you know, James Cagney. And that. I went to the pictures last week to see Ben Hur. Ah, my mate says to me, I'll have two quid with you on the big race, the chariot race. So I'm paying him out at the end. I said, how did you know that Charlton Heston was going to win? He said he ran a great race last week at the Odeon. <laughs> car. I want to have my car insured. I said, I want it insured against theft. The fellow says, you can't do that. You've got to have it insured against fire and theft. I said, who would want to steal a car that was on fire? <laughs> a friend of mine had this terrible affliction. He, he, his head used to fill up with water. Yeah. Well, he went to the doctor, and the doctor drilled a little hole there, and he put a little chain in. <laughs> so when his head filled up, he could uh, flush it. <laughs> it has a very sad ending, this story. He was cycling to work on his bicycle, and the chain got caught in the pedals, and he flushed himself to death. <laughs> I was sitting at home last night. Suddenly, there was a tap on the door. Some plumber has a funny sense of humor. <laughs> anyway, 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 anyway. There was a fellow standing there. He said, I've come to convert you. I said, are you from the Jehovah Witnesses? He said, no, I'm from the gas company. <laughs> television. I was on television uh, three times last week. Uh, I'll sleep anywhere when I'm drunk. <laughs> and now, now, ladies and gentlemen, for the capricious vicissitudes oh. of minstrelsy and versification. Oh. Yes, you've guessed it. Here with some of the songs that made him famous, that broth of a boy, Mr. Mike Newman! <laughs> I don't like to see my mammy sigh. I'm going on the big ship, a well far across the main. I'm going to find the boys I am to bring my daddy home again. It's on the moment. I like to live till I'm 99. I'm an old 99. Wouldn't it be fine? I've always led a good man's life. I never smoked, never drank, and never had a wife. Oh, gee, says Mr. 83. Think of all the drink you've never paid for. You never even squeezed the blonde and never been on the tear. What do you want to live to 99 for? Now then, have we any honeymoon couples in this evening? Yeah. Here's a song, here's a song, just for you. Oh, Charlie, take it away. Oh, Charlie, take it away. You make me feel so funny every time you give me a kiss. You make me quiver, you make me shiver, you fill me full of bliss. Oh, Charlie, take it away. Oh, Charlie, take it away. It's the little bit of hair you wear upon your upper lip. And take it to me, Charlie, so take it away. All together, please. Michael, what's the uh, clue? I believe these are the flowers. I thought they looked like a well-kept grave. <laughs> and now that, then, what uh, about the rhyme? And uh, this is the rhyme, uh, Chad. Oh, uh, little, <laughs> little flower, please reply. Forget the shower, you'll spin dry. 
Now then, Joan, you've got your <laughs> doubts about that, I'm sure. Or Mike, do us a favor. Take your hand. Get us oh. out of way to put you in that hand. <laughs> oh, Charlie, <laughs> take it away. <laughs> right, you. And two great mates of mine, it's always a pleasure to introduce. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Newman and Chris Emmett. Hey. Have a good Christmas, Mike. Oh, great, great, great Christmas. Wonderful. I tell you what, this year it was a heck of a job thinking up what to buy. Oh, oh yeah. Well, what did you give this year? Got a great idea this year. I sent everybody a cheque. A cheque? Yes. That's very generous, but it's a bit impersonal, isn't it? Well, not really. They never know who sent them this year. I never signed them. <laughs> Terrific! Oh. Oh. I don't know, Simbers. What's the matter now, darling? Oh, Buttons, I've done all the impossible things my stepsisters told me to do. I've put all the walnuts back on the wall and mended all the leeks in the vegetable patch. Have you taken a piff out of the oranges? <laughs> oh, it's awful, Buttons. I'll never get to the ball. All my plans are undone. Undone? Well, perhaps Butts could give an hand, eh? Oh, there's so much to do. I'll never finish it all. Never mind, darling. Put the broom down here. And I'll tell you what we do. I shall give you a hand. Let us start on these pans. Pan! Pan! Who mentioned a pan? I've searched for him for years. But because of pan, I've got this hook. Uh, hook? <laughs> Then why don't you sling it, mate? This is Cinderella. Cinderella? Don't be a clown. Aren't you Wendy, darling? Uh, Wendy, darling, she is not. A right little darling, she is. Now, hop it! Hop it, 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 hop it! I'm not Long John Silver, I'm Captain Hook. Then what are you doing with that carrot on your shoulder? Carrot? Get carrot? No wonder the damn thing won't talk. <laughs> I'm not frightened of you, ha! Huh? In fact, ha! Huh? Again! Nothing frightens me! Ha! Huh? I've worked for the BBC! Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell, grab him! And I'm not afraid of fairies either, especially that weedy little Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell! 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 All right, Peter, off you go, boy. Come on, Wendy. What have you got to say for yourself now, then? My heavens, haven't you turned into a bonny little girl? <laughs> Hold up a minute. Will you two turn it in? Now, listen. There are no giants in Cinderella. I know that. I'm trying to make a big impression. <laughs> a big impression. Oh, I'm fed up with this anyway. What's next? <laughs> Is this the road to London? Dick Whittington? That's right, my friend. Dick Whittington and his amazing goldfish. <laughs> Where's Pan? Oh. Here's your chance, Spit. Cats! Oh. Shut up, Jack! Oh. 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 That's enough. That's enough. This has gone too far. Oh, why don't we see if they win the car? Well, that's what we're here for, without a doubt. Well, slippers are quitting, I'll sort it out. I was about to break in. <laughs> My lords, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue court... Oh, no. <laughs> His Royal Highness, Prince Charming. Why this feeling? Why this low? Why this thrill? Thank you for being on my show. <laughs> Your Highnesship, I'm uh, Betty Harder. 
With a face like that, I'm not surprised. Uh, Your Highnesship, I'm uh, Nicola. You may kiss my hand if you like. Uh, no, thank you. I haven't had the injections today. <laughs> Your Highness, may I present Cinderella? With what? <laughs> oh, such poor, such elegance, such grace, such charm. <laughs> and you're quite pretty as well, dear. <laughs> it is a privilege, Your Highness. The privilege is all yours, my dear. Ah, Cinderella, say you'll be my fairyland princess. Just say you'll marry me, and we live forever in happiness. <coughs> Who writes this stuff, Barbara Cartland? <laughs> Your Highness, you honor me greatly. Cinderella, midnight's near. The time I warned you, you should fear. But I am having such a wonderful time. The prince and I are to be married in the spring. You don't think that might be a bit damp, my dear? <laughs> <laughs> We're young. I'm young and in love. <laughs> what can spoil that? You could get a headache. <laughs> All to you will now be plain. Prince Charming is himself again. Oh, 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 look at me. Back to my lovely self again. Oh, don't have a cane, Cloggy. <laughs> near, near, around the wall. Who, who is the prettiest of them all? <laughs> me. No, you. No, me. Shut up. <laughs> oh, 